Extafy is one of, if not the most anticipated new FPS title to be released this year. Well, hopefully now at this point. This game looks to go after many of the systematic issues the Call of Duty community have brought up for countless years. This game looks to completely remove skill-based matchmaking, have an option to keep lobbies together, and various social features that have been missing with the Call of Duty franchise. X Defiant is led by Mark Rubin, who is an executive producer at Infinity Ward from 2005 to 2015. So it's easy to say that this guy knows the inner workings of a COD game. So there really is no better person out there to develop a game that's a direct response to all the issues people have been having with Call of Duty. And that's why a lot of people within that COD community are super excited about Exify and people outside that who may have fallen off the Call of Duty bandwagon over the years from the constant barrage of just like microtransactions, skill-based matchmaking, and just like the lack of fun that the game has been. Really missing that sense of community. Well, X Defiant is meant to be a direct response to all the issues you have with Call of Duty. After public play tests, people seem to really enjoy the gameplay. Yeah, there were some tech issues, but later we would have new play test sessions that would see improvements to those issues. Giving the X Defiant community high hopes this game would release soon. Though in 2014, things have been very quiet, suspiciously quiet. It's quiet, too quiet. Mark Rubin, who is very active with the community online, has gone through long periods of silence. Now, I understand as a game gears up for release that a lot of developers put their heads down to grind out the game to get it ready for release. Well, they must really be grinding because there has been very little to no communication with the community this year. Well, a story was released explaining the silence and it's not looking good for X Defiant. The story states that they're trying to implement Call of Duty features into the game, which totally puts a wrench into the development cycle of the game. And once this story went live, Mark Rubin like crawled out of his development cave because he went on a Twitter reply spree. So what's going on with X Defiance development and what did Mark Rubin say in response to this article? We'll stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. If you guys enjoy these type of videos, a like and subscribe is always appreciated. So there's an article here from Insider Gaming who has been very credible with the sources stating that about what's going on with X Defiant as they were once very public and very open with the community, now have gone suspiciously silent. In an Ubisoft earning call, it said that X Defiant is scheduled to release by the end of Q4, which would be March 31st of 2024. And yeah, I don't expect to see this game releasing anytime soon for how public the game has been and how front they have been to the community about dates when the game was going to release and also when you're going to have play tests and things like that and also progress of the development well i don't think that march 31st date is happening anytime soon the ubisoft dev even stated that x defiant was aiming to release during the last week of february when the internal release date was made public by ubisoft's earning call well clearly that date was missed and x defiant has missed dozens of internal targets in the past couple of years including release dates putting the game firmly in the realm of of Ubisoft titles that are in constant limbo. Developers working on the project are becoming increasingly frustrated with the lack of progress and in short, the game's shortcomings stem from the executive's pursuit of trying to copy Call of Duty rather than build their own game. A source quoted saying, the never ending hunt to chase COD and adding pointless stuff always breaks the current build. And we know all about Ubisoft game development limbo as we saw Skull and Bones recently released that's been in limbo for like 10 plus years now at this point and it released with uh well not so rave reviews so could the same fate happen here with X Defiant I don't think so but I mean it does show that there are some issues happening with the game I will say that there is a part of this article that I do find a bit vague and that is the fact that the quoting said that they were trying to chase Call of Duty and add pointless stuff into the game but what kind of stuff does that person deem pointless because what might seem pointless to a developer might seem super crucial to an executive and the thing is that this game is literally going after the call of duty crowd this game is made to be like hey you call of duty players are you having your complaints that you've had systemically with call of duty well come play our game so x defiant is going to be living within the shadow of call of duty for its existence so some rather damning stuff that's been going around the community about the development of this game well mark rubin the head of x Define actually replied on Twitter to this article, which I thought was rather interesting, saying that FYI, I have nothing against what you posted, right or wrong. 
I think it's great that people are excited for leaks. And my eye roll wasn't to you, but to the people who said that our delays are due to trying to be more like Call of Duty. But dude, your game is literally like a YouTube response video to all the issues within Call of Duty. And just for some context, his last tweet was just like a response to somebody back on February 23rd. And then a month later, once this article released, you can see the amount of responses Mark Rubin made to talk about the issues that were going on and the news going around X to fight. So it's like, I can feel like, yeah, there is some need to respond to the community when it comes to big news articles like this, but it does come off as a little defensive, I would say, when you reply this much on Twitter. Like this isn't even the half of it when it comes to the amount of responses Mark Rubin made <laughs> and talking about this recent news article of X Defiant. Or at least we're getting some information, right, from the developers themselves, but like the X Defiant Twitter, which you think, well, I'm trying to keep the community active, communicate with them, give some updates of what's happening, what's going on, as they have been very open, have been very quiet as the last actual tweet from X Defiant was back on on December 31st, just kind of doing like a happy new year thing. And then before that was September 28th during the open play test that they did. So things have been rather quiet and nothing wrong with being quiet when you're trying to get your game out. But it seems like the communication level went from this to like nothing over the span of a few months, which then raises suspicions. And this news article here was the first bit of information we've heard about X Defiant in months, which is the reason why this article really popped off and got people's attention about this game. I think this really just kind of goes to show that you need to maintain communication with your audience about what you're doing with your game as in previously you're a high level of communication with your audience which is fantastic but then the good drop off basically from off a cliff with that communication can be rather concerning by the community and so you need to be active in some kind of way i know i use twitter but twitter is the most public facing part of social media when it comes to or marketing really in general when it comes to your brand and so when you don't say anything for months people start wondering what the heck is going on. So I think the remedy from this is really just to be active with the community. If not, just post something, maybe reply to something online, maybe post some funny memes or some way to just like keep the community active and keep your name and your brand active within the discussion of gaming. But I can understand how that could be very difficult as when you're developing a game, things are subject to change. So when you go public saying, look at this cool thing that we're doing with our game, then that thing changes. The public perception of that might be, oh my gosh, why are they changing the game? No one knows what they're doing over there when really you're just testing things out, see what works and if you can progress further with that. And it shouldn't be up to just a single developer. I mean, yeah, it is Mark Rubin, the executive producer at X Defiant, basically the guy behind the entire game to set the record straight. You should be able to communicate this more clearly rather than if you follow Mark Rubin specifically or not. And I might be hitting that issue a little too hard about communication, but as a former community manager myself, I just see these issues. I'm like, dude, this is what you need to do. But not all things are dark and quiet when it comes to X Defiant as there are gonna be raising their heads from their grind of developing this game for another play session here. Mark Rubin goes on to Twitter here stating that we have an update coming soon, probably this coming week. I know we've been silent because to be honest, there isn't much to talk about. I know people just want to see the game ship, so do we. The funny thing is that he tweeted this once the news article went live on the 23rd. So yeah, you got your information finally, but that's only when bad news came out about your game. As this is a developing story, I'll make sure to cover it more on the channel here, guys. Looking forward to so thank you all for watching. Like and subscribe is always appreciated. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.